Man. Today is Friday the 17th of April 2015, New Zealand time. And in this video we're going to look at the term debunking and what it actually means, what the definition is and what the etymology is. In other words, the history of the word etymology, not to be confused with entomology, which is, is the study of insects. At the moment we're looking at a recent video by Crow777 called Attacks Do Not Change Facts that he uploaded on April 10, 2015. And as you can see at the beginning of the video, he added this annotation which says uh, debunk synonyms, ridicule, roast, laugh at, jest at, rib, make fun. And then he says, I think it is safe to say debunking is a shameful profession. Well, we're going to look at those claims. And first of all, we're going to look at the true definition of debunking. So here we are on Google and I've put in debunk definition. And as you can see, the first entry that has come up, debunk, which says it is a verb which means to expose the falseness or hollowness of, for example, an idea or belief. And there are some synonyms that are given there. These are synonyms which are given as explode, deflate, puncture, quash, expose, discredit, disprove, contradict, controvert, confute, invalidate, negate, and challenge and there are more as well and as you can see there are some sort of examples that are given of those meanings such as quash in other words knock the bottom out of drive a coach and horses through uh, show in its true light uh, give the lie to prove to be false call into question and so forth and uh, as we scroll down you can see that there are other entries there that give the proper definition of uh, debunk and isn't it interesting that in those synonyms there uh, that none of the ones that uh, Crow has given, ridicule, roast, laugh at, jest at, rib, make fun, are listed in the given definitions. Isn't that interesting? Now let's go over to the etymology. Um, and the first one that comes up here is this one here. Let's see what that says. Um, debunk, uh, first used in 1923 from D plus bunk, first used by US novelist William Woodward. 1874 to 1950, the notion being, quote, to take the bunk out of things, end quote. And of course, bunk, uh, referring to bunkum, which means nonsense. So when I'm debunking, I'm taking the nonsense out of things. And I use that term quite unashamedly. Um, now, let's have a look at the Wikipedia entry. And what does that say? Debunker. A debunker is a person who attempts to expose or discredit claims believed to be false, exaggerated, or pretentious. Okay, the term is often associated with skeptical investigation of controversial topics such as UFOs, claimed paranormal phenomena, cryptids, conspiracy theories, alternative medicine, religion, exploratory or fringe areas of scientific or pseudo-scientific research. And if I scroll down, you can see the... Um, etymology there and it says here that the American Heritage Dictionary traces the passage of the words bunk, debunk and debunker into American English in 1923 as a belated outgrowth of bunkum of which the first recorded use was in 1828 apparently related to a poorly received speech for Buncombe County, North Carolina given by North Carolina Representative Felix Walker during the 16th United States Congress. It says here that the term debunk originated in 1923, or in a 1923 novel, Bunk, by American journalist and popular historian William Woodward, who used it to mean to take the bunk out of things. The term debunkery is not limited to arguments about scientific val validity. It is also used in a more general sense at attempts to discredit any opposing point of view, such as that of a political opponent. So I guess in, in that last sense you could say that it, it's used to ridicule, but certainly not in the sense that I'm using it. Now in the case of Crow, as with many people that I debunk, and unashamedly debunk, um, I contacted Crow initially. Uh, we, we spoke on Skype just under a year ago and, and we talked about his claims and uh, by the way I'm still waiting for Crow to uh, release that uh, audio recording that he secretly took of our conversation, uh, which he is now um, quoting out of context. I, I have requested that he send a copy of that uh, recording to me so that I can bleep out any uh, personal confidential information of, of his and mine and then I can send it back to him in full and we can both upload it on our channel so everybody can hear the full recording in context 
uh, so that people can make up their own minds. But it's now been, I think, about four days and counting since I requested that, and I've heard nothing further from Pro about that. But in any case, as I say, I contacted him initially, talked to him um, quite amicably, and then I left this topic alone. But, you know, over the last several months, I've had many people uh, coming to me and saying, you know, can you check out these videos by Crow777? Uh, what do you make of it? And and this is how I do a lot of my debunking because people come to me and say, can you check out this video or check out this post and tell me what you think? And uh, of course, on my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X Vortex, people will often post items, including videos by Crow, and ask me and the other other members on Vortex to take a look at them and see what we think. Um, but but what I'm saying is that normally when I approach uh, a video for debunking, I will try and uh, contact the person who has uploaded it, talk to them reasonably and try and have a dialogue as I attempted to do with Crow, but I found that uh, Crow quickly became hostile to any idea of any uh, critical analysis of his videos that might come to a conclusion other than the one that he wanted it to be, which of course is that we're seeing a glitch in the moon hologram. Um, I would have quite happily worked alongside with Crow trying to analyse his videos, but he just will not have it and has even filed a couple of copyright strikes against my videos to try and censor the, uh, the analysis of his videos, it seems. So there we have it. Uh, debunk does not mean to ridicule, roast, laugh at, jest at, rib, make fun of, as claimed by Crow. I don't believe it's a shameful profession. In fact, I believe it is an honourable profession to try and uh, get to the truth of things and um, remove the bunkum or the nonsense. You know, people often talk about disinformation and, uh, you know, to, to claim that an atmospheric wave causing refraction of, of the atmosphere and resulting in what appears to be a lunar wave, to suggest that that is a, um, a glitch in the moon hologram is, is nonsense. It's bunkum and deserves to be debunked. Um, because as Crow says here, Truth does not require defense or understanding. Truth will exist regardless of what I said. Um, and that is the fact. Truth will exist regardless of, of what he says. And, you know, just because he says it's a moon hologram doesn't mean to say it's truth. And that's what the discussion is all about, to see if we can get to the truth. Crow does not want to cooperate in any analysis of his videos unless they're going to come to the conclusion uh, that he wants it to be. Um... I'm not ashamed of the term debunk, and uh, I'm often accused of being a paid disinformation agent, working for the government to spread uh, disinformation and, and discredit the truth and all that sort of thing. That is utter nonsense. I wish I was being paid, um, unlike um, others who are making a lot of money from this sort of thing and selling t-shirts and so forth. Um, there we go. Uh, viewer requested t-shirts, donate and so on. Now, Yes, I do have a PayPal donation button on my YouTube channel, and I do have my videos um, monetized, um, but I don't make a big deal out of it. Um, but as far as being a paid disinformation agent working for the government, I mean, that's nonsense. As I say, I wish I was being paid. So there we have it. The definition of uh, debunking uh, does not mean what has been claimed by Crow. I hope that has clarified that for you. As always, do check out my Facebook discussion page, Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex. You'll find a link in the description area. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your support, and be sure to subscribe. Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Friday the 17th of April 2015, New Zealand time. And in this video, we're going to look at the term debunking, and what it actually means what the definition is and what the etymology is, in other words, the history of the word etymology, not to be confused with entomology, which is, is the study of insects. At the moment, we're looking at a recent video by Crow777 called Attacks Do Not Change Facts that he uploaded on April 10, 2015. And as you can see at the beginning of the video, he added this annotation, which says uh, debunk synonyms, ridicule, roast, laugh at, jest at, rib, make fun. And then he says, I think it is safe to say debunking is a shameful profession. Well, we're going to look at those claims. And first of all, we're going to look at the true definition of debunking. So here we are on Google and I've put in debunk definition. 
And as you can see, the first entry that has come up, debunk, which says it is a verb which means to expose the falseness or hollowness of, for example, an idea or belief. And there are some synonyms that are given there. These are synonyms, which are given as explode, deflate, 